Hello friends, this is Cold Run. Welcome back to Final Fantasy Dimensions, a blind playthrough where we have ended the Ranger, uh, part of Chapter 2. We're going to continue on from there. Deist. Um, it's been a, a, about a week and a half since I last played. I've had more breaks than I'd like in this game. All my fault. This one last one wasn't my fault, but usually they are. So, oh, we're back with the, the light folks. You really sure you don't want to come with us? Aegis, stop pestering her. She's got Sarius' newborn to worry about. So this is the Dragoon uh, woman. Barbara, and more. She's got that Rydia dress style, that adult Rydia dress style. This is Dragon Homeland. Barbara protects it. Ricard, you truly are just like your father. Dusk, then it is time for us to take our leave. Goodbye, guest party member. You were awesome. Sarah. Oh, but I guess we're going to soon get the, uh, the Dragoon job crystal then. That means at least. Our leave? And where would we be going? Aegis. Sarah's right. We've got no way to get to the other continents. Ricard. There's a small village just past the southern mountains that ships from other lands use as a port of call. Barbara sends you by dragon. <laughs> yep, no, no ports. Barbara, you're awesome. Correct. This is true. Facts were stated. Dragons are just big kitties. With claws that are only marginally sharper. Is the dragon a clown car? How big is this dragon? Oh, damn. I have to remember to tap on the screen every so often or turn off low power mode or something. Ebba. You kids come back in one piece. I don't remember Ebba. She's, I guess, one of the deus mothers. She's the mother. She's Bar. Is she Bar? She's not Barbara's mother, but she's like Barbara's grandmother, maybe? Remind me. I'm. My brain is bad. Uh, Ricard, thank you for everything, warriors. Until we meet again. Edwina, right? Rusalka. Very good Decemberist song about Rusalka. A person named Rusalka. Eduardo. Another night here and yet no sign of her. Right, he had the Anna moment. Is that lapping waves? Just a fish. She must really mean a lot to you. Yeah, this is just straight direct Final Fantasy IV callback to that, that moment in uh, the, the desert in Damsian. Uh, who, who are you? An intriguing start to the next chapter. That's who you are. World of Light, an enchanting reverie. Yeah, so we're back to the light world. So we're going to hop, be hopping between these two. Do you really need to whip the dragon? I feel like you don't. Where are we at with jobs? We didn't get actual... We did get Dragoon! Okay, let me... I, at some point we got Dragoon. I don't remember exactly when. It must have been at the end of the last chapter or something. I'm going to pull up my uh, little dimensions thing and see where I want to do with jobs at the moment. All right, so Soul is working on Monk. Soul is the only one we're going to start working on Dragoon with. And I think that would be pretty fun to do. So let's do that. 
Let's change soul. Oh, you got a red dragoon. Sweet. All right, so you can do dragon arts. Let's see what the dragon art is. Let's fire breath. Oh, right, dragon arts are. I remember these. Pretty sweet. Pretty great. Too bad the cave bats are also in Final Fantasy IV mode. Why am I doing so much damage against them? I must have forgotten how powered up the World of Light Party was. Good lord, that's a lot of damage. Capo. No, it's like, uh... Hypo. It's like that. What was the... Where was Kaipo? Was Kaipo Edward's town? It was. There was the kingdom of Kaipo. No, Kaipo... Damsian was Edward's town. Damsian was Edward's city. Kaipo was the desert city. Gotcha. I remember now. Welcome to the humble fishing village of Kaipo. I've certainly seen better days. There is a rift here. No, we're not going to enter the rift just yet. Hey, mister. Show those pirates who's boss, will ya? Are we getting some Provoca action in here? Sorry, I, I don't need to keep referencing stuff, but the game does. What's with ye? You landlubbers got a problem with us closing the port? No. That's right. Go back home crying to your mommies and daddies. I will. Um, <clears throat> at least those of us who can. Which is none of us, I think, right now. Or very few. These recent disturbances have had an effect on us all. Why, even these pirates used to just be normal men. Are, no, we're, we're fine with you. Keep pirating away. I'm just exploring the town for now. These rowdy bartenders just barge into my tavern and ca start calling my staff serving wenches. Not only is it bad for business, but I'm worried everyone will quit on me. Also, should be worried that your staff is being mistreated. But they'll also be mistreated if they lose all... You lose all your business and they have to all get fired. Ether. There's nothing else to do if we cannot go fishing. If the part stays down, we won't have nothing to eat. Apologies to everyone who's really not from the United States, because this is, I don't know what this accent I'm trying to do is, but it's an affront to all of those people. Ended up upgrading only my great bow, but I had all the magic, I had all the armor already. All right, let's, no, we're not done yet. Echo grass. Who are you? Curse these pirates. With them here, we've got no way to cross the ocean. What could the pirates possibly have to gain by shutting down the port of a tiny fishing village? What were the pirates doing in Provoca, by the way, in Final Fantasy 1? They were just pirating, right? They were just being pirates. I don't think there was like a, a deep lore reason or anything. They were just pirates. Got a an elderly couple's home. If we didn't do nothing about the pirates, it would be the end of the village. Half the world swallowed by darkness. Is it true? It It is true. Tent. I feel like this would sort of be me if the world were ending in a way that wasn't immediately visible in my home. Like, there's a good chance that I would just be, like, on Twitter, like, oh, the world was destroyed. That's rough. I'm sorry to, that sucks. I hope I hope Chipotle is open. When I'm old like you guys, I'm a to, I'm a go to Rusalka. What do you mean you never heard of Rusalka? Potion. So Rusalka's a place. Is Rusalka through this rift? I don't know. At the inn here. We don't get many travelers here. Where are you from? Huh. 
I mean, I guess the port is closed, so you wouldn't get many travelers. How is my HP? Oh, my HP is fine. All right, pirates, let's do this. Let's dance. Yeah, I have a problem with you closing the port. This will be fun. Get them, boys. Are there going to be nine of them? No. Uh, no, we are dragon artsing the shit out of you. No, run? Who said to run? It's friggin' my, my, my fat palms just keep slamming this by accident. And we'll blizzard everyone. And just keep fire breath. I mean, it's a pretty good AoE. We don't have much FP, but... Or much mana, but... It seems like a reasonable action to take while we do. Yeah, the pirates are not long for this world. It's probably better to just do a single target attack, but it just looks so cool to actually use that. Yeah. I was hoping to give him the ind indignified, undignified death um, by getting meleeed from a black mage, but no luck. Why, you? This'll come back to you double. Who was the pirate head in Final Fantasy 1? His name is on the tip of my tongue. Bike? Bike? Thank you, travelers. That should calm the waters a bit. There's a rumor going around that the pirates are on the hunt. Wonder who they might be after now. Probably me. They're probably after me. I mean, they said they were after me, so that's my, why I think they're after me. Thanks for tearing kicking care of those pirates, mister. Uh, nope, you're fine. The pirates are gone. Don't, don't you even worry, friend. Hey, mister. Would you care to bear witness to this ass whipping I'm about to administer to this ass kissing little vaginal blister? Your swabs not be from Capo, that's for sure. Hey, pirate scum. You're going to reopen the port. Like we'd listen to you. I just killed four of your peoples, or I just beat them up. I don't think I killed them. I set them on fire and froze them. But they're okay. I see. So these be the ones from the pub who sent you back with your tails between your legs. So you got some kind of problem with us. You're pirates. You should expect a problem with everyone. You're not the only ones who need to use the port, you know. Why are you using that accent? Who need to use the port? Even if we wanted to help you, it's not our decision to make. Then who do we talk to? You got to talk to the boss if you got the guts. I'll, I give it a fifty percent chance that the boss is Bike. Bike, Bike. I don't. I don't know how you bike. I don't know how you pronounce it. Um, B i k k e. Let's go see this boss. Brave one, aren't you? Follow me. I need to take a quick break because my I just got home a few hours ago and my cat has been yelling at me every so often for snuggles. Be right back. Hello, buddy. Oh, I'm back. All right, let's talk to a pirate. The boss, he's over on Pirate Island. You really are going classic with this, aren't you? Just little kids to be playing as heroes. Yeah, not not like Final Fantasy three little, but we do seem pretty little. How old do you think the kids were in Final Fantasy three? I get the sense like 14, 15. Maybe a bit older? But they were playing, so maybe maybe more like eight or nine. Yeah uh No, let's not head to Pirate Island just yet. Let's actually take a look at that um rift. Is this going to be a way to interact with the with the dark world? With the world of darkness? Go.
Dragon Roost. Ah. Whimper? Are we friends now? How did you enjoy your trip across the mountain? Let me know if you need anything, Koopo. Uh, rest, I guess. Sure. 50 gil is nothing. Including a Moogle cooked breakfast. I'll take that. I'll buy that for a dollar for 50 gil. Yeah, we're all buddies now. You got your egg? Here's the egg Saris laid. Barbara protects Dragon Homeland and Saris' baby. I have no doubt you're going to kick ass at that job. Granted, I think there might be a better... I don't know. I feel like you could make it a bit... I know that dragons are big about, like, birds and lizards and a lot of stuff are big on making nests. And I guess the house it's sitting in is a nest, but it's basically just sitting in the middle of the floor. You could probably do better with that. But you know what? I won't judge. I have not cared for a dragon egg myself. Maybe that's the perfect way to do it. Can we go below deck? We can. Oh, you want to go see the boss? Believe me, you'll come to regret it. Ha ha ha. So what pirates have we had that this could be a callback to? Because this is so callback heavy. Could be Ferris. Could be BK Bike. Could be... Um, it's not going to be Setzer. He wasn't really a pirate. He was a gambler. Not that sort of pirate. We'll finally be free of this build forsaken village. Hmm? Didn't say anything. Why is there... Oh, no, that's just to help people, right? That's just to help uh, the, the straps or to help keep, keep people in. During when the waves are rough or whatever. Can I read your diary? I cannot. Okay. I'm, and there was also the Final Fantasy IX crew. Again, but again, more thieves than pirates. There was Sid and Lion from Eleven. I guess they count. Set sail for Pirate Island. Oh, shit, I didn't mean to do that. I think we'd let you know where Pirate Island is. Fat chance. Stay in the cabin like good little ki We're on the water. Are we going to get eaten by Leviathan? It feels like our chances of getting Le eaten by Leviathan go dramatic, have just gone dramatically up. They've, like, skyrocketed. Is this our cabin? No, we just came from... Oh, no, we haven't been here. Uh, oh, yeah, no, okay, so this is our cabin. Sleep at a time like this. Don't be so stuffy. We got nothing better to do. It could be a trap. She's right. It won't be as easy as going up to the boss and saying hello. Well, we're already here. No point in getting all worked up. I suppose not. Okay, so we actually didn't get eaten by a Leviathan. That was unexpected. Good. This was just a dramatic way to pull into port. Pirate Island docks. This be our hideout. If you want to see the boss, he's at the back of the cavern. HP and MP have been restored. I could get used to the pirate's life. Uh, Pirate Cave 1F. So this is... Nope, wrong way. This is going to be a dungeon then. Yeah. Okay. Let's do the Pirate Cave. Devour. I was going to say that's a lot of damage, but I guess in terms of... It's probably not that much damage, is it?
Uh, hmm. I think these are just going to be weak to lightning. Yeah, weak to lightning. So let's try thunder as a default attack. Will that do fairly good damage? Yeah, yeah, pretty good. And we'll just have you on, like, cure one duty, basically. I think that's okay. Yeah, let's auto that for a while. Soul's job leveled up. Dragoon's ability, Dragoon Art. Let me check, uh, oh, stop it. Um, let me check what, uh, I actually want to get on Dragoon. Or what combos I want to try on Dragoon. So, Dragoon plus Enrage. Ah, let's try that. Okay. So, is... Wait, what? So... No, Soul wants to get Warrior to 7. Okay. Let's do that first. So, there's stairs there. And... Ah, damn it. Another fork in the road. B1F. No, we'll check out the top, I guess. No, always always go the, the closest fork, I think. That's the lesson I have to remember. No, now this is the second floor. No, that, that might be the bad lesson. Oh, no, it's not the bad lesson. A dead end for treasure. Good. Killer fish and amoeba. Yeah, these are... Very Final Fantasy IV waterway. And very weak, also. What did the amoeba do in Final Fantasy IV? It always had a remedy attack that never did anything, if I remember correctly. We're back down here. A vicious clam, which is kind of... I don't know if it's horrifying or cute, but I feel like that covers a lot of sea life, doesn't it? A mithril bangle from this treasure chest, but that's kind of as far as I've been able to get, so what am I missing? Also, what does it do? Is it just a upgrade to the iron arm? Oh, battle boots are way better. Why are you not having me equip battle boots? Because evasion? No, why? Why Why would you not have... Because evasion is one point higher in the iron armlet? I feel like optimize is not really doing its best work in this game. Oh, wait, the iron... The mithril bangle. Yeah, so that's just a caster upgrade. Okay. Oh. Well, there we go. I could have gone down. Now I know. Here we are. So we reached the pirate hideout. That took me longer to find than I it should have. 300 a night. That's a I you're the only game in town, I guess, sure. But boy, you are not as consumer friendly as a moogle I can say that safely the boss be like in his bulkhead in order and his pieces of eight all accounted for if you get my drift his pieces of eight I do not get your drift so ye might be the upstarts we've heard so much about free capo ye be daft you think we'd be here for the booty you're not here for the booty. Why then are you calling upon the city? Why are you in Ka Capo if it's not for the booty? Huh. That was a surprise. 
Are you doing this for our good? I mean, you're bringing us to your hideout, and it's kind of a nicely run town, so you might actually have something good going on. We'd be glad to entertain you in our humble hideaway. Thank you. I appreciate your entertaining us. Your surprisingly good hosts. To think that... I was literally buying it. Sorry, bug. Uh, I was literally buying it that they were actually nicer than I expected. The eight. Are the eight us? Like the eight warriors of light and warriors of darkness? That's ambitious for pirates. To think they'd be fallen right into our laps. Ho, ho, ho. Uh, nothing needy, need, you lads need to concern yourselves or concern yourselves with. Okay. I really bought it. I, I cr credit where credit's due. The pirates did a good job of selling it. Or I'm super gullible. Probably that. The boss be in the back. Okay. Yeah, you're looking more like bike. I'm just going to call him bike. Fifteen hundred gil. You're getting your booty raided. All right, let's do this. Are you the boss? He will address me as Bike. Some pronounce it Bike, but I pronounce it Bike. What business have ye with King of the Pirates? We want you to free Port Capo. Then ye be the ones we're looking for. Meaning what? No parlaying for the likes of ye. String them up, boys. I beat you up before. You're just gonna... Okay. I mean, back attacks are tougher. I'll, I'll give you that. There's no doubt there. No, don't auto. Oh, I'm countering. Right, right, right. I'm okay. All right, um, change. We're gonna do four changes. Change one, change two, change three, change four. All right, I don't care about the, the I, I don't need eye drops for that. We'll start curing everyone. Yeah, you have picked the wrong, the wrong crowd here, friend. Um, Let's Gale Crescent, you all. And... Uh, yeah, we're just gonna keep curing. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, let's protect. I think I'm comfortable with you just... battling. Just regular fighting. Uh, you can keep Gale Crescenting at least one more turn. Do, do, do. And you can... Wait. Oh, you're the Black Mage. Never mind. My bad. Uh, let's go... You know what? No, you're... You're basically a bunch of, of land of sea creatures. Let's thunder you. Uh... Oh! I don't even have to uh, do that. You're, you got my back. You, you're unconfusing my friend there. Much appreciated. The pirates are quite, quite accommodating. No, he's a black mage. Don't. Well, it doesn't really matter. Okay. Soul got enraged. Who just got enraged? Oh, no, the, uh, that was Aegis who just got enraged. Okay. Ho oh, ho, looks like you can hide yourselves after all, but guppies always fall before buffer the shark. Okay, are we going to be back attacked again? We're not. Okay, I automatically like beak. Bike. 
I think bike has a delightful, delightful sprite. Uh, we're gonna thunder. I'm gonna. I never poison anyone. Let's poison them. It's prob. It's almost certainly not worth it. It rarely is. Yeah, we're gonna enrage. And strike. And yeah, Thundara. Let's in fact oh wait no, let's slow on you. And we'll just keep striking. Call for help? That's cheating. But it's a pirate, so you know, I guess that's I don't know what I was expecting. Uh, let's keep... Let's do Sylph on you. And I think we can keep striking the big guy. No, we can't. It does half damage. Never mind. Alright, we'll strike the small guys. And just use magic on the big guy. So I just noticed uh, Protect wearing off, so we'll get that fixed in a second. But slow is lasting for a good long time. So no need to refresh that. Until just now, which... And now there is need for, for that. So he keeps summoning for help. That's good to know. I think we could just keep chopping him down. Is Enrage still up? How do I know if Enrage is still up? Is, do I get a buff? Yeah, so there's a buff that goes on and goes away eventually. So we'll slow bike. And we got him. No problem. Fun fight, though. I like the... The ad control. My mistake, Captain. Stop flipping the flip stop flip flopping like a fish out of water. Oh now I know he's got me doing it. Don't don't get don't do the pirate accent, Soul. You can't pull it off. You're not cool enough. Aegis. We want you to free Capo now. Uh, of course, Captain. Let me inquire as to your motivations. What would you gain from taking us into custody? So I guess there's like a law of like a King of the Hill style thing with the Pirate captains? It all be that blasted Imperial Witch's idea. She commanded us to lock down the port and capture you keep I mean, the captain and friends. Imperial Witch, who would that be? The third general, maybe? It's gotta be the third general. The general of water, maybe. Almost definitely the general of water. So the Empire's grasp extends to this faraway land, too. Oh, of course, it's Rusalka. I thought Rosalka was a place, but no, to Rus bring to Rosalka, because she's a general, of course. She be promising us booty for bringing you to Rosalka. No, Rosalka's got to be the place where, she, where the general is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was right the first time. The town's south of here. I don't know what you did, Captain, but you've got to stay away, stay away from Rosalka. We be bringing you back to Capo. Jump, jump. Avast, ye scurvy swabs. Get a move on. We be bringing the captain to Capo. So we're collectively the captain. Three job points. Lovely. Which I don't feel the need to spend yet. Because I don't have to. The boss be vested in swashbuckling. Not bad for swabs who just crawled out of the the bunghole. Is that I've never heard that used outside in a non-anatomical sense. If we be joining offensive forces, the Empire be naught but plankton under our keel. Oh, I missed a high potion before. I don't know why I was even checking, because I was sure I got everything. Glad I did though. We be cowards, giving up our pride to bully the poor folk of Capo. 
Yeah, you are. You kind of are. I don't know if you're cowards, but you're certainly bad people. Or that's a harsh judgment. Their actions are certainly bad. I don't want to get into the morality of them as individuals. Maybe one of them is pirating and uh, t trying to use the booty to feed his family. His family needs booty to survive. Uh, sure. His son, his poor son, his wee, li wee little, little Richard is, he has a medical condition where if he doesn't get enough booty, he, he'll, he might pass away. Rusalka be dangerous, mateys. That's where the Empire be docked. Ah. We be hating the Empire just as much as ye. I are. Do you really? That which be no ordinary minnow. Best keep your harpoons at the ready. What if the witch is actually just a fish? What if she is just a minnow? Do I have to go back through the cave? Can you just like, give me a ride? No, I guess I have to go back through the cave. Alright, I'll see you on the other side. This is one of those things where if this were released today, there would absolutely be just a, a cutscene where they bring us out of the cave. Oh! There was, I didn't even see this. There was, right before I, oh, that's really good. Uh, there, right, I assume it's really good. It's probably like a, usually a melee hat. Um, probably more like a monk, monk or thief hat, something like that. But, uh, yeah, so that's pretty, pretty solid. Uh, I just missed it entirely on my search for, search for the booty. We're back on the we're back here and we're on a pirate ship. Do you ever do that as a kid, where you hold your tongue and or uh, and try to say, uh, what is it? I live on a I live on a pirate ship. I live on a pirate ship because kids didn't get often get to say curse words. We often did. We'd find way we'd find excuses to say curse words, and that was a way to say, I live on a pile of shit. Uh. I be telling you this for your own good. Stay in Capo. Uh, no. Or I'm, I'm okay traveling. The boss told us to treat you as we would our own first mate. I thought it was the captain. Uh, should we go down? No, we've already been down there. What do you got, bike? Ready to set sail for Capo, Captain? I am. Cast off me, hearties. We be nearly to Capo, Captain. Get woo, we'll lay your anchor in the cabin and get you some rest. A large amount of things that pirates say can be sound like they're on Urban Dictionary. You know, go go lay some anchor in the cabin. Uh, Aegis, change course. Aegis, you you can't be serious. Yeah, I'm surprised. So you mean to? Go to Rusalka. Oh, right, because we're on our way to Capo. I actually, for some reason, I was just assuming we were already on our way to Rusalka. No, of course we're going to Rusalka. You got seaweed for brains, Captain. As strong as you are, the Empire be way out here, League. We've been doing okay. But you're supposed to bring us there, no? Good one, Aegis. We'll get them when they least suspect it. That actually is a pretty good idea. Fake prisoners. Captain, you got the spirit of a buccaneer. I be taking quite the liking to you. The internet is a large place, but I actually do think that I, I would be surprised if there is fan art of the Bike X Aegis ship. I, I don't think that, which would be a pirate ship, wouldn't it? I, I don't think there is is actual fan art of that. Hear that, ye lily-livered powder monkeys. Change course for Wasalka. Ahoy! <clears throat> so 
we're heading south. Okay. Excuse me. So this is the Imperial Town of Rusalka we're landing in. I see a cave to the northeast. Rusalka. We be here, Captain. Rusalka. We be keeping ship in port case ye be in port case ye be needing to make a timely retreat. Ye be letting me know if ye be returning to Pilot Island or Pirate Island or Capo. Keep your cannons armed, Captain. I will. And if you ever need to lay anchor, let me know. You think that's you think that strange bubbling over there is some kind of big fish? I worry it might be. Strange bubbling from the bottom of the ocean. Are we going again straight Final Fantasy One in terms of like is there going to be an underground temple that we have to submarine to? Because in the game Star Tropics from the NES, when you had to submerge, bubbles in the water were the sign that you could submerge in this particular location. Uh, okay. Hail travelers and welcome to Rusalka. Before the all-consuming darkness descended upon the land, we were a vibrant center of world trade. Yeah, all-consuming darkness is rough for tourism, isn't it? Oh, uh, is that treasure? It is, but something I can't get to from here. I have to go around, I think. Yeah. 4,000 gil! I'm glad I went around. I was going to say it's not well hidden, but anything in plain sight is well hidden from me. If it's information you need, go to the pub instead of sneaking about all shifty-eyed. I'm just walking here, dude. No need to be rude. Eduardo's sudden disappearance caused quite the conundrum for the tavern. Actually, I'm going to... I'm pretty tired right now. I'm going to call this for today. Let me see if I can get out of here and save. Hey, I guess I can't save. Okay. Um, is there a quick save option? Quick save, yeah. So I'm going to call it for here. It just feels super risky to, to quick save here only. All right, I'm just I'm going to head back to... No, I'm going to go to another town and save. Um, yeah, this feels... I, I, but I do want to save here. So, we'll go to Capo and save there. So that's going to be it for me for today. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, subscribe if you want to see more, and we'll see you as we continue to explore Rusalka. Bye-bye.